In this movie, we're going to look at the zip or gzip program. Let's do a quick look at the manual page for gzip. And we see it's part of a suite of commands, gzip, gunzip, zcat, to compress and expand files. And if we scroll down, we'll see very long description as well as many options. Let's look at our current directory, we can, which contains the movie folder. Let's switch to a graphical environment and in the movie folder we'll see it contains several movies as well as folders which in turn contains movies. So we really want to compress this first. We'd like to archive it which is making all of this into a single file. Let's use the tar command for that. So we'll say tar cvf movies not tar movies and we see it archiving over here. If we come back to the graphical environment we'll see a graphical symbol for the movie folder and now a single file which is not a folder. Let's go ahead and remove the movies folder and all we're left with is this file. If we do a long listing of the tar archive, we'll see it has a size of, let's make this a little more clear. It has a size of 42 megs. Now, even though this is now a single file and it's easy for us to drag it and move it around, copy it, put it to tape, it is somewhat big. It's relatively big. If this was a much bigger archive, it could be uh, gigabytes and terabytes. Let's see how we could zip this up with the gzip program. We could just say gzip movies.tar. And it's currently compressing it. Right now, the movies.tar file is still listed here and here. If we click on the graphical environment, we see it's been updated to movies.tar.gz. Let's do a listing. And we see the movies.tar archive single file has been turned into still a single file, but the GZ extension has been appended. Let's do a long listing. And we see it is now 34 megs as opposed to 42 megs from before. Now, we use the gun zip command to unzip it and um, bring it back to the single file. Let's try that. And we should end up with two files here. The movies.tar.gz and the movies.tar. So the zip file is actually gone because we've uh, used the gun zip program to unzip it. Um, let's go ahead and zip it again. Uh, the reason for doing it a second time is because even though we use the gun zip to unzip it, we would have to use the tar command to unarchive it. I'd like to show you how to do this in a single step. 
So instead of using gun zip to unzip the movie and then using the tar command to untar it, you could just simply use the tar command with the minus Z option. What this would do is it would unzip it and untar it in one command. And you should end up with the movies folder where you have access to all the other folders and movies. So you may be wondering if it's possible to do the same compression and archiving in one command and the answer is yes. Let's remove the current zip file and we have the movie folder. command to do this is tar, giving it the Z option for gzip, cvf, movies.tar.gz. Notice we're giving it the name of the final archived and zipped file, and then the source, which is the movies folder. And it should go ahead and turn this movies folder into an archived and zipped file, all in one command and it's done and that's it for the gzip command and the use of the gzip command in collaboration with tar and Gunsip. Read the man page for more details.